Hello there guys, I am back and uh, this time I am going destruction. Yes indeed, I'm going destruction. So this is gonna be a little bit different, uh, but not much. Well, actually can't a lot because as destruction, you're not dotting people up as frequently. Okay, so uh, let's see, what pet am I gonna use here? Actually I think I'm gonna go with the, <coughs> excuse me. I'm gonna go with the Grimoire of uh, Supremacy. That seems kinda good for leveling. And sacrifice, yeah, it's all right. But uh, I think I've got actually. I need dust of disappearance. Oh well, good thing I do have my travelers to draw mount, which is very nice. You can just mount up, and you can uh, like buy one if you need. And uh, I could probably buy like ten or twenty or whatever. And uh, apparently, my add-on is uh, blocking me from switching talents. Just gotta love that, right? Uh, thankfully, the loading screens are not that. Uh, that long, so uh, I'll survive definitely. I actually have no clue on what pet to use, uh, but uh, last time the Void Lord was actually kind of good. I don't think it, I don't know if it, that it would be the proper choice as a um, destruction, but for leveling purpose, it seems actually really good. So that's what I'm gonna do, and uh, of course, gonna try and remember to uh, buff myself up. And here we are. <coughs> we are going to kill a bunch of. Sling tail f fish reaper. And s excuse me for just a moment. Had something uh, stuck in my throat, so. Uh, it is early morning today. Actually, it's not early morning. It's like 1 17 or something. But I woke up for like an hour ago, so for me, it still feels like morning. Ooh. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of sick damage. I I wonder how many I could actually pull. And did I pick up all the quests here? I only got one quest uh, available to me. I'm gonna just go uh, around and use emulate on the target. Mean my meanwhile my um, white walker would actually kill the target for me. Emulate, emulate. I could actually use my um, Rain of Fire too. That seems kind of strong. And uh, if you guys want to know, this is uh, the current talent I'm using. This is like the talent I used when I was doing PvP. I could probably switch them around. Maybe go for Shadow Fury or something while I'm leveling. Not much of a difference. <coughs> so, <laughs> this is actually kind of easy. I know I got the probably got the NPCs helping me too, but uh, wow! And I'm, j I'm just emulating everything and letting my White Walker kill for me, and then I of course have plenty of Emper Empers I could use my Emper Tap for and regenerate HP. Should not forget about uh, my AoE. Okay, I'm not getting any XP for this. The guards are killing them. Okay, so let's continue. Um, I, I believe I only could pick up one quest. But that's alright. Blood Fear. Anything else I could use? Uh, burning Rush. Drain 4% of your maximum HP to increase your movement speed. Unbound Will. Now I guess, guess Blood Fear is still a pretty good choice. And over here we got Soul Link. Or Dark Bay. Actually, I guess I could go with uh, <clears throat> I could go with another talent like Soul Leech. Although, although I don't think I'm gonna use. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go with the talents I'm using right now. It seems fine, and I'm doing all right. So I wanted to try destruction this time, um, just to switch out and make a, make the leveling a little bit different. Uh, and uh, I also sp spoke with somebody yesterday, um, Karada, uh, Karada Marmor. He's, uh, he told me that destruction was actually pretty easy leveling. And uh, certainly affliction was easy too, no problem. But I just wanted to uh, switch things out. And right now, what do I need to do? Hmm. I don't have any quest available. 
Um, I think I did something wrong. Let's go back to the uh, previous village and actually see if there's any quest available to me. I might have forgot it. Oh, and look at this glyph, guys. I love it. I can run just across water. I, I have a certain glyph right here. Uh, the glyph of nightmares that allows me to run across water while I'm using the warlock. The warlock mount, which is really awesome. Okay. So that's kind of weird. There's like no quest here. There must be a quest down there. Gotta be. Gotta be. There gotta be a quest here. If not, there's something wrong. There's definitely something wrong. Oh, there it is. Why wasn't there a quest here before? Doesn't matter much. At least I got my quest now. Gotta go around and speak with people. Please allow us to prove our chains. Please allow us. I come from the alliance. We wish to be allies, not enemies. Mr. Fish People? I, I don't know. Fish People or monkeys? I guess I trust the fish people more than the monkeys. And uh, we we gotta kill some turtles. Let's see if we can actually find some turtles. They're right under right under the water. Can I actually stand? No, of course I can't stand on the water. Okay, cast ball. It got me. Boom. Eat some turtle meat. And uh, mode of harmony, you can always use lots of mode of harmony. That's like the main thing in this expansion. I've kind of been disappointed that uh, you can like grind mode of harmony like everywhere, and then inside the major city, you kind of you could buy like all kind of materials with mode of harmony, which really reduces the price on the auction house for a lot of uh, for a lot of grinding materials, which is which kind of saddens me. But I'm glad to see that uh, you need mode of harmony for a lot of uh, uh, profession crafting. That's kind of I'm kind of happy to see that. However, it just sucks that uh, you can actually buy other. You can like exchange your mode of harmony for or the spirit of harmony rather for uh, items for uh, gathering. But oh well. You can't satisf satisfy everybody, I guess. And uh, these turtles don't want to satisfy us either. We... They don't want to drop turtle meat. It's like these turtles... They're skinny. They don't have any meat on them. Okay, one more, one more. Actually, we need four more. And the, uh, nope, don't need the crabs. Any other turtles? There's one more. Did we... Did we kill the other one? Where did the other one go? There's like plenty of dead turtles here. That's not, not, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for dead turtles. Did I loot it? Yes, I did. Oh, and look at that, guys. I'm actually starting to run out of space on my on my warlock here. Granted, I only have like 14 sp uh, 14 slot back space on my uh, on my warlock here. I probably could have bought some uh, bigger ones, but I think I need to clean out in my old gear. There's kind of a lot of in my old gear I don't need any longer, and um, I just recently. Well, actually, I've been doing that many times now. I've been cleaning out in my warriors here. My warrior also had a lot of old gear, like tank gear, DPS gear, PvP gear. And I've gradually, as I got more gear and better gear, I've been uh, removing those items or disenchanting them. Oh, I only think I saved... The only thing I saved from uh, Cataclysm was actually my gear set from Firelands, I believe. I think that I got that in my bank. 
everything else I uh, kind of disenchanted or sold to the vendor or whatever was most uh, pr profitable. But on this warlock I think I'm just going to sell everything to make more backspace. And I certainly need that backspace very very soon. Five? No, oh, come on, one turtle meat more. Just like the good old days where there was like horrible drop rate on mobs. However, this drop rate is not too bad considering the old days. But still worse than most other quests we uh, see nowadays. Okay, turtle, you gotta have some meat. Hooray! Quest completed. And uh, I still need to uh, speak with some of these guys. I need to speak with the uh, watersmith and uh, instructor Sharpfin. So let's do that. Hello, the black uh, watersmith. <laughs> like his, I like that he's not a blacksmith, but a watersmith. Uh, that's actually pretty uh, clever. And then one more guy over here. I, I like that uh, the alliance is taking is uh, joining forces together with the fish people, and the horde are going together with the hoes and together with the monkey people. It's actually kind of kind of awesome, and this is like the story towards how we get like uh, combined, um, get al uh, become allies, and uh, I guess these people are gonna help us find Anduin very very soon. That that won't be long before we're gonna be looking for Anduin. And uh, I hope I'm gonna get some item upgrades very very soon. I actually don't know if I'm gonna get any items that is uh, above level 390 in this in this zone. Maybe maybe I'm gonna be get getting some green drops, but I'm not sure if the quests are gonna give me anything like that. Who knows? Maybe when I get further north, the quest rewards might be a little bit better. Uh, right now, I've only been getting uh, only been getting item level 372. Which is not ca which is not as good as my uh, PvP gear, even though it is PvE gear. What oh well. Okay, what do I gotta do here now? I I just gotta kill a bunch of mobs and then loot all the corpses I see on the ground. More deaths, more deaths. Well, I can still just uh. And maybe this is not, um, it's not the same deal as when I was Affliction, but I still need just to run around, dot up the targets and let the, uh, and let my, um, pet kill them. Oh. I could j also just stand stationary and, uh, use my incinerate to make it a little bit faster. But I could do that when I pull enough people. I, I still kill them fairly fast. Just keep on pulling. Give up the speed, and that's what I always liked ever since I leveled my warlock back in uh, from in the first 160 episodes, and actually before that, that's what I liked about warlocks. You could like just pull like forever, pull, 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 pull. <laughs> and way more. I need way more rain of fire. Okay. Let's uh, let's go ahead and loot them. We need to do that too. Really awesome to have the AOE looting. It actually uh, made the game so much better. It was kind of it. It was kind of weird for me uh, playing. Um, I played Star Wars: The Old Republic uh, for about two hundred hours um, back when it first came out. I know it's a very long time ago now, but uh, back when it first came out, I played it like 200 hours. And uh, I was getting so used to AoE looting. 
And then, of course, I would still, like, from time to time, log into World of Warcraft. And there was, like, no AoE looting. I certainly missed that a lot. And I'm, uh, I'm uh, kind of happy to see that it is finally in-game. In World of Warcraft, AoE looting. Something that has been missing for a long time. And I'm glad to see it's finally made it into the game. Now that uh, several other MMORPGs got the AoE looting. Two more quests has been completed. Another uh, 244,000 XP to the collection, and we're we are actually actually almost halfway through this level, almost at the same level as my mage. And uh, keep in mind, as I explained in the previous episodes, in one in one of the previous episodes, my I've only been leveling my mage so far through herbing and mining, and that means by doing these quests, I'm I've almost catched up to my mage. And my mage is like halfway through. I think it's like 6 or 7 million. 6.5 million. And you, and you need like 13 million in order to get to uh, level 86. Okay, this is here. Where the story begins. Very, very soon, I'm sure. We're gonna be looking for Anduin. Very soon. I know who, I know the quest is somewhere around. Maybe this guy can tell us something. Oh. We've brought an item for the ceremony. What ceremony? We probably gotta dance or something. Let's dance. Awaken from the great waters beyond. Aid your children in this time of need. Oh, brother, I see blah blah blah. Too much lore. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding, guys. I like lore, but uh, sometimes. I don't want to stand around and listen to it. 